when you were in the army, do you remember what the uniform looked like? Like what you had to wear every day? Well, and uh, the day is a little different than when I was in. We had what we called fatigues. There were the greens and the combat boots. First, we didn't have the boots, we had leggings. I remember that, it was just the high top shoes and you had to lace up the leggings. They did away with those, we had combat boots. And then for summer dress uniforms, we had fatigues. As today, it'd be, I mean fatigues, the suntans, just like you see men wearing most of the time today, like his shorts with a shirt to match. Brown shoes and we got, supposed to get dressed up, you put the tie on with it, which was brown. And then they later changed that into, uh, they call it the Eisenhower jacket and the Eisenhower uniform uh, after General Eisenhower. That was a little more dressy. And then when I became an officer, then we start, we wore the same things. Nowadays, they wear that fatigue everywhere. We were never allowed to wear the fatigue off the base or wherever we were. Um, and then, of course, for official case, like my one case there, uh, we had the dress we called the dress blues. The first officers had the blues and pinks. There's a blue top and a pink pants, more or less. That was the dress uniform, and then they went to the full dress blue uniform. The officers buy your clothes. You get a clothing allowance, but you have to buy all your clothes. By the way, officers pay for all their own food. Housing now, enlisted man, when he's in the Army, they furnish the food, they furnish the housing, and do all of that. But officers get, a, uh, get an allowance, and it's up to you to put with it and buy whatever you need in the way of clothes. 